business, providing wireless LAN access to your guests increases customer satisfaction and improves the productivity of your contractors. But how do you give your guests wireless access to the internet without compromising the security of your company's network resources? By setting up guest networks on your wireless LAN. Hi, I'm Gerald Tenorio, Senior Field Application Engineer at Ingenious Technologies. I'm going to talk about two methods for setting up guest networks in a business environment using Ingenious Access Points. The main goal of setting up a guest network is to keep wireless guest users away from your network resources and only allow them access to the internet to maintain security. The guest firewall policy can also be much more restrictive than employee security policies. Most Ingenious APs have a built-in guest network feature that users can simply enable by checking a box and creating a new SSID for guests to use. Let's log into the AP. Now that I've logged into the AP, I look under Network and go to Wireless. On the Wireless Settings page, scroll all the way down to the Guest Network Settings. There you check the box to enable either the 2.4 or 5 GHz SSIDs, or you can do both. Let's create an SSID for guests to connect to now. Securing the SSID with a WPA2 password is optional. You also have the option of changing the DHCP scope that devices connect to on the guest SSID. Whenever you finish making configuration changes, make sure to scroll down and click Save. Go to the top of the page where it shows how many changes you made, then click on Apply. If you don't apply the changes on this page, your configuration changes that you made will not take effect. This feature activates a NAT firewall and DHCP server so that users connect to the guest SSID are placed on a different subnet behind the main network. While this is convenient, it is not recommended for security-minded deployments. Now let's take a look at the second method using a separate SSID assigned to its own VLAN on the network. Instead of using the guest network function, scroll back to the main wireless settings. Enable one of the secondary SSIDs, create a name for the guest SSID, check the box to enable VLAN isolation, and assign a VLAN ID to the guest SSID. A separate Layer 3 appliance for routing VLANs is required. This type of configuration requires understanding of 802.1Q concepts. This is generally a fine solution for organizations that don't want the additional cost of separate infrastructures for dozens of APs. The network administrator should make sure to implement the necessary policies if meeting regulatory compliance for your particular business, such as HIPAA and PCI, if that's a concern. Thank you for joining Ingenious Tech Talk. Be sure to check out our other topics.